Mint az Ávés! Gratulálunk, Metán fog szólni Lisszabonban! 2018-ban! Oké, okay, if you don't like swearing, don't watch this video, click off right away. Because holy mother fucking 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 fuck! Fuck, okay, fucking hell, fucking bloody, fucking, 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 fuck. Okay, f holy fuck. Holy fuck. What the fuck just happened? Like, okay, one more. Holy fuck. Okay, so Hungary just had their national final. And, oh my fucking god. Uh, fucking hell, fucking, fucking, fucking hell. Okay, so, um, here's the thing. If you know me and you know how I've been reacting to this Eurovision season. There is this motherfucking song <laughs> which I've been obsessed with and I was thinking it was so cool that it actually made it through, we got points, the jury really loved it and that was the thing, the jury really loved it. And the jury was you for it but the public they were for it but not that much, right? So I was thinking, oh so it's good, they're in the final, that's amazing. And I was like, okay, maybe they will get like second place. That would be awesome for this kind of music. And I was so happy that they just had made it because I was so thankful to Hungary because Hungary had the best selection of the year. There's no doubt about it. Hungary has been killing it week after week and the thing here is that they are putting so much effort into their art if you looked at the past couple of years with Hungary in Eurovision it's so amazing last year they got killed by the jury but the public knew what it was about they knew that that song was a masterpiece the year before the pioneer amazing song amazing track and they're so talented in what they're doing but I never in a million years even if people told me so many times that they have a chance, they can win, they're the favorite. I didn't believe it because the world today don't seem to appreciate this kind of music. The world today is not going for this extreme screamo metal. But Hungary. Hungary are. Hungary are ready. Hungary are sending it. And I'm not going to be crazy enough right now to say a sentence like either Denmark is better or Hungary is better than Denmark but I'm telling you right now the honest honest truth right now the moment I saw that this one everything else in the whole Eurovision season except for this song Denmark and the Norwegian selection coming up it doesn't seem to matter for me right now. And I, I can't believe it. If you look back one year, at this very moment, one year ago, my favorite was Do It For Your Lover from Spain. That didn't even end up in my top 10 or top 15 at the end. But that was my favorite one year ago. This year, we have songs like Italy's song, France, we have Switzerland, we have Germany, we have Malta, we have so much incredible music. Albania, Serbia, the Czech Republic, the list goes on and on. But especially Denmark and Hungary. And I don't know, I want to try to explain how I felt when I first saw and a performance from AWS and I was blown away I love this kind of music but this is a kind of music that is very niche it's not the mainstream but now it fucking is now it fucking is it's fucking back this kind of music and I can't, I can't get yet this idea really, and I can't understand this idea. But this is coming to Eurovision. To Eurovision, the music contest, which now finally features something like this. And I think this will do better than Montenegro a few years ago, and that was one of my favorites that year. And 
Because this right here is epic. This is epic in every single way. The show structure, the song structure, everything becomes better and better and better and better and better as the song progresses. And when you think you know the formula, no, 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 you don't know it. Because then there's a breakdown and then everything rises up again. And it's incredible. It's a work of art and it's the kind of music that isn't that appreciated. But this is right now what Eurovision needs desperately. This is the kind of music we don't get in Eurovision. And why is that? Why is it? that we have a music competition which showcases 30 fucking ballads and not anything like this. Look at Georgia from a few years ago, a shock for everyone. I think this will be the same, but maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit higher. This is incredible and I can't really process it. I'm so proud of these guys. They've done an amazing job and I listen to more of their music and it's so incredible. It's so hard work. History was made. This is the thing with Eurovision. It's unpredictable, it's amazing, it's a work of art, and it's a showcase of a music world. This is what Eurovision was made for, to showcase music that wouldn't else reach this kind of audience. This right here, no matter how it does, no matter what it happens during the semi-finals, this is a winning. This is a winning song. This is a winner. Because it won by getting to Eurovision. It will be remembered and this is the entry we were talking about for so long. It's about time Turkey has had your great hits with this. Finland too. But now it's Hungary's time to step up and fill in a missing piece of the puzzle for the music scene. Last year, the Yodling got the spotlight. This year, the extreme Screamo breakdowns is going to be heard all over Europe and Australia and the rest of the world. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I teared up, I was, I'm completely honest, I teared up when it won because this is so much bigger than just one song. This is a whole fucking music scene. And it's not like that this music scene needs Eurovision. But the fact is actually now represented in Eurovision again. It can't get better. It can't get better. So thank you, thank you, and thank you so, so much, Hungary. You fucking rock. You fucking roll, and you're going all the way to the top of my personal lists, and hopefully also <laughs> to the list of the whole of Europe. Thank you so fucking much. Have a great night, a great weekend, and please let me know what you think. My fucking god, I I can't believe it. I'm I'm loving it. Thank you.